Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining us at TC Kids. I'm Miss Raquel and we're so happy to have you here today. Did you hear that? Oh no, it's thunder. I'm scared of thunder. Oh no, I think I need my teddy or my, my blankie. Wait a minute. I remember my mom telling me when I'm afraid I should pray. Can you, everyone say it with me? When I'm afraid, I should pray. Everybody, close your eyes, let's pray. Dear God, I'm scared of this little storm, but you are a big God, and I know you're with me. Amen. Wow, the power of prayer is such a great thing we get to do. I feel so much better now. Now I'm gonna do a demonstration with a candle. So I'm going to light our candle and I'm going to ask you a question. This candle is going to represent you and me. So, okay. So the question is, have you ever been afraid? Hmm. Have you ever been afraid of thunder, of the dark, of the doctor going to school for the first time, or maybe going somewhere without your mom? Well, I'm going to make this paper like a fan. And I'm gonna fan the flame. You see it's getting wobbly and wiggly. That's how I felt when I was afraid of the thunderstorm. Okay, you see this plastic bag? It's clear be and you can't see it, just like prayer. We have, I put this here and I fan it. The flame is not moving. It's not wobbling because prayer, it protects us. It's God protecting us from our fears. When we are afraid, God gives us his courage and his peace and his understanding so that we're not afraid. Now I'm going to teach you a song that you guys can memorize. Okay, pay close attention. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. You ready? Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Okay, how about we learn how to pray for the people we love? How do we do that? We put our hand up and we start with our thumb. Our thumb are for the people that are closest to us, like our family and our friends, our moms, our dads, our brothers, sisters, grandmas, grandpas friends from school, friends from church. Next would be your pointer finger, which is your index finger. And that would be for people of influence, like police officers, teachers, firemen. And the next finger would be your third finger, which is your tallest finger. That would be for city officials and for state officials. Your fourth finger would be for your weakest finger, and that's your ring finger. And that's going to be to pray for the weak and the needy. Your fifth finger is actually your pinky and it's your last finger. And that finger is actually for you. So it's for you to pray for yourself. You pray for growth in Christ. You pray for Thanksgiving and you also pray for blessings in your life. Thank you, God, that you are an amazing God and you are always there for us and for the people we love, Lord. Thank you for always being with us and taking our fear away, Lord. We love you and we thank you in your holy, precious name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We miss seeing your faces and we're so glad we're able to reach you through these videos.